Welcome to 321 Photoshop, I'm Julianne Cost. Almost all of Photoshop's tools are assigned a single letter as a keyboard shortcut in order to access them more quickly. For example, I'll tap B to access the brush tool, or tap M for the marquee tool. I can hover the cursor over any tool in order to display the tooltip and view its keyboard shortcut. To save on screen real estate, Photoshop groups similar tools together and assigns the same keyboard shortcut to them. Click and hold on a tool to view and select the nested tools. Or hold down the shift key and tap the shortcut to cycle through the different tools. If you prefer to cycle through the tools without using the shift key, choose Photoshop Preferences, Tools, and then disable the Use Shift key for Tool Switch. To change the shortcut key for a tool or assign a shortcut to a tool that doesn't have one, choose Edit and then Toolbar. Click to the right of the tool and enter in your own shortcut, or tap the delete key to delete the shortcut. To hide a tool, drag it from the toolbar area into the extra tools area. We can also drag to split apart tools, or create our own custom groupings. If you ever need access to the hidden tools, click and hold on the more icon. To further customize Photoshop's tools, choose edit, and then keyboard shortcuts. Select Shortcuts 4 and choose Tools. Scroll down and look at all of the different tools and options that you can assign custom keyboard shortcuts to, such as displaying the foreground color picker or loading or cleaning the mixer brush. To reposition the toolbar, click and drag on the grabber handle. Release the mouse in order to float the toolbar anywhere on screen or drag it next to a panel a solid blue line appears and release to dock the toolbar. The toolbar, as well as panels, can be moved to a secondary screen, as well as saved as part of a workspace. Finally, click on the chevrons at the top of the toolbar to display it as either a single or a double column layout.